This video is the second video to cover comparison, and it's for the material in sections 141 and 142 of Hansen and Quinn's Greek, an intensive course. Hansen and Quinn covers those sections on pages 543 to 545. So we talked in part one on section 131 about how we form the comparative and superlative degrees of words in Greek. And we covered the regular ways of doing it and the way that we do it with adverbs in Greek. But this video will cover the irregular formation of comparison, which we're easily familiar with in English, where you have to know that it's good, better, best, and not good, gooder, goodest. This video will also talk about how we do comparison of adverbs. So you can have wisely, but we can say more wisely and most wisely, and we'll learn how to do that in Greek. And then those adverbs need their own constructions. So we'll learn how to say Aristophanes used to advise the citizens more wisely than Euripides. And we'll learn how to say the people made peace as justly as possible. And those constructions will look familiar from superlative adjectives and comparative adjectives, but I just want to confirm that with how we use them with comparative adverbs. So let's first learn how to form these adverbs. You learned with adjectives two different sets of suffixes to form the comparative degree and the superlative degree. We had the teros and tatos version and the eon and istos version. With either one, you can use the following rules to do adverbs. If we have sophos, the adverb of sophos, in the positive degree, we can simply take the neuter accusative singular of the comparative degree and we have more wisely. And in the superlative degree, we take the neuter accusative plural and that gives us the superlative adverb sophotata most wisely. We can see the same thing with the adverbs of hedus, hedea, hedu. So the positive degree, pleasantly, hedeos. The comparative degree, hedion, is again the neuter accusative singular of the comparative adjective. So hedion, more pleasantly, and hedista, the neuter accusative plural of the superlative degree of the adjective becomes most pleasantly. And this rule helps us no matter what. Dikaios becomes dikaioteron, dikaiotata in the adverbs. Saphos becomes saphesteron and saphestate. But I do need to be honest and tell you that you will also see for the adverb of the comparative degree not simply the accusative, neuter, singular. Sometimes you'll simply see the comparative degree of the adjective with the adverb os ending. But I think, as Hansen and Quinn says, you'll be able to recognize os as an adverb ending, just like ly, and recognize that as a comparative adverb as well. The constructions that comparative adverbs take are just like the ones that comparative adjectives take. So we will use the genitive of comparison when we say more wisely than something, and we'll get for Aristophanes, used to advise the citizens more wisely than Euripides, we'll get Aristophanes, tois politais sophoteron eripidu sunebuleuen. So there we have um, the comparative adverb, sophoteron, more wisely than Euripides, who's now in the genitive, eripidu. And for as justly as possible, we'll use the same kind of superlative construction we did with superlative adjectives, and we'll get hodemos erenen epoiesata hos dikaiotata. So we can use hos, and hati would work there as well, hati dikaiotata, as justly as possible. Now the rest of this video is really talking to you about how 
many adjectives in Greek, just as many adjectives in English, form irregular comparison. So this is the good, better, best situation. You have to know that good doesn't become gooder and goodest, that it becomes better and best. And the same is going to happen with many adjectives in Greek. So the comparison is going to use the suffix ion, ion in these, and the superlative is going to be an istos, iste, iston. But the real thing to get used to is what the stem is. And really, this is a vocabulary issue. And you've probably already studied this as part of your vocabulary for Unit 19. But I'm going to go through the examples nevertheless. So in the positive degree, we have agathos, which you've learned as good. But it has several different ways to form comparison. So we could have a may known in the comparison for better, or aristos. So in that sense, a may known better or aristos best, you're usually talking about better in ability or in worth, but it's going to overlap in meaning with the, a next set of comparison where we get beltion and beltistos, where we can think of these as better morally or best morally, but these meanings will overlap. And agathos has yet another set of comparative and superlative degree, kraton and kratistos. And those have better in the sense of stronger. Again, this is mostly a vocabulary issue. You need to know that the comparison of agathos could be amenon, beltion, or kraton none of which look anything like the positive degree. Similarly, kakos has kakion and kakistos, which do look like the positive degree, but again, you need to know which sort of comparison we're going to do. And here, you could think of kakion and kakistos as taking up the moral sense of bad, worse, and worst. And then kakos can also have heron, and heristos as its comparative and superlative degrees. And here it can mean morally. Again, these are overlapping ideas, but it can also mean worse inability. You'll also see for kakos the comparison heitone, which means weaker in that sense of worse. And then it doesn't really have a superlative degree in the adjective, but you can use heikista as a least, as a worst, um, in the adverb sense. More irregular comparison of adjectives, megas, megas megale mega, big or great. The comparison is medzon, and the superlative is megistos. Oligos, few or little, is elaton in fewer, and elakistos in the least or the fewest. Polus is pleon or pleon in the comparative degree and pleistos in the superlative degree. So more and most. And then in the positive degree we get radios, but it's super but its comparative degree is raon, and its superlative is rastos. And finally, tachus tachea tachu has thaton as its comparative degree, and there you see that it gets its theta back because the taus of the comparative degree are not aspirated, and so the tau can stay aspirated on the stem. But the dissimilation of aspirates comes back in the superlative degree, tachistos, swiftest, or fastest. So really, that's just vocabulary that I just gave you to show you how the irregular comparison happens in Greek as well as in English. So now I think you're prepared to tackle comparison wherever you find it, adjective or adverb, in Greek that you read in Hansen and Quinn and in the wild.